gang power breaks back with another video review and today we're going to be taking a look at the Jiraki Sentai Jiraki Ranger line and this is the Jiraki Evil Team. Now this consists of three rangers but there's a lot of swords obviously. Six swords and there are three rangers. So let's go over the original team first and then we'll get into the new guys. So here's the old guys. You guys seen them before. Here is their white ranger Jiraki Knight. And here are the Jiraki Evils, right here. Here are the new Rangers, the Evil Rangers. So let's take a look at the first one, which is the purple one. And of course, you see his mask is damaged. He looks really, really cool. You got the design of the Tyrannosaurus Rex on his uh, costume. And then if we come to his leg, we have one of the uh, Flying Birds, the Parasaurolophus, and we have the uh, Dimetrodon, so it's really cool. You get four for him. Uh, very nice color scheme. You get the red, silver, gold, purple. Overall, great aesthetic. Uh, awesome. Then we come to the Orange Ranger, which is Heat Rodan. And it's based off of Rodan from Godzilla. Really, really cool. Uh, love the design. You see the bird. You got the whole shebang going on. And then we have, of course, King Zilla which is my top favorite. He is based off of Godzilla, but a ranger. You see how beautiful it is? That is the coolest ranger out of all of them, to be honest. He's the strongest one. You can see his uh, Kingzilla emblem on there. Really cool stuff. Got a really nice sword with the flute on it. Pretty cool stuff, okay? So yeah, that's it for these guys. Let's get into this. Okay, so first, for part one of this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Purple Ranger and all of his Zords. He has four, and his T-Rex has an alternate mode, like Reds, it has a Megazord mode. So, we're gonna get into this guy last, so we're gonna put him to the side, and we're gonna take a look at the smaller guys first, since they are the quicker ones to go through. So, we're gonna zoom in, and we're gonna first take a look at the Lilac, uh, let's just call it a condor, but it's really a pterodactyl type bird. I forgot what it was called, but it is here, and it's Lilac and gold with some black. Really cool design, you got neck articulation here, wings flap, then you got some, uh, gold all above there you got the little feet some little horns well other little feet too and these are kind of like a stand to kind of balance the body and this is the tail right here it is uh articulated so pretty cute little guy got the green eyes like it okay next is the parasaurolophus this is a really cool one it is magenta super cool we got some gold accents all along the zord we got these little claws like these scissor hands which are really cool uh, you do have articulation in the upper body, so there is a swivel right there. You can get some more movement. Its head can extend. You can move that around. You can also move around the horn, sort of just for like expressions, if you want to pose it. It's really posable. It can do anything that it wants, sort of. It also has tail articulation. <laughs> I took it off. The main thing for this line, the tails are all weapons for most of them. Or they have some kind of weapon feature. This one has a gun. So you can see it's the laser. This is laser para. Really cool. Parasaur elephant sword. Neat. Okay. This, whoa, buddy. Let's see this guy right here. Alrighty. Now here is the Dimetrodon. This is the gray sword. And there is a silver and gray. If you guys haven't seen the silver the silver raptor, go check that out. This is the gray Dimetrodon. So we got articulation all within a tail. We got all these points of articulation going on. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, we also have articulation in the legs. So the hind legs do move, guys, which is cool. You also have uh, waist articulation, so you can kind of make it look like he's running, like galloping in a sense. But you got this uh, waist movement. You kind of stand up, but he doesn't really. He also has uh, head articulation right there, and this... Uh, spine does rotate so that's pretty cool easy mechanism dino thunder vibes uh, this guy is very evil let's go to the next one shall we so here it is the tyrannosaurus and the allosaurus look at that comparison well size comparison actually they are pretty close in size uh, the only difference is this guy has a longer tail but 
it doesn't really matter. They're pretty much the same thing, just different colors. There is a lot of redesigning, though. If you look at the feet and the body, if you've seen the videos, you guys know. These are practically the same mold, but they're not the same mold. Um, I'm going to transform this guy off camera, but we're going to show him on camera so you guys can really see exactly what it is this guy can do. So this Tyrannosaurus Rex is heavily articulated, just like the other one. You have tail articulation and one to three different points so you can get a lot of movement there is a drill tail so of course it's made for exquisite combat there is leg articulation on a ratchet and it can move in and out we also have um, a bend at the knee right there and there's also foot articulation so you can get all the way back there if you wanted to really really cool stuff i wish i could sell these guys to you pre-packaged and ready but you know how much money that would cost for marketing but overall, really good Zord. So also another articulated point, we have these fingers. They have articulation. There's also articulation within the arms there. The T-Rex head is, of course, articulated on two points, one and two. And there's also mouth articulation. You see the red eyes right there. It's just a really cool Tyrannosaurus Rex sword. You also have these articulated guns on the sides of his shoulders right here and right there. Now, another thing this one can do, it can uh, pull this out a little bit. Well, all the way if you want to, but it can come out a little bit more, sort of like an extended barrel, and you can push it back in. But the real mechanism is uh, when it shoots, I was thinking it did something like this. You know how it comes, pumps in and out. That would be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, overall, really cool Zord. Uh, I like how the, look, the front looks, and I like how the back looks. How to transform it. Well, let's get into that, shall we? So taking it apart and transforming it is the least of your troubles. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna take off this Tyrannosaurus Rex head, and then we're gonna take off his beautiful cannons. Once we remove the cannons, I will then extend his legs. After I extend the legs, I will pull his tail off, okay? And we will zoom out just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Come on, there we go. All right, there we go. Okay, so then we zoom out. After that, we're going to turn him around and we're going to get this section here and we're going to uh, rotate the foot along with it. Same here. Rotate, rotate. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere, okay? So we turn to the back and we're going to turn these hands all the way around and the claws are sort of just going to fit into the robot itself. Bam, bam. I just love this beautiful robot. It is awesome. Okay. So there's the body for the robot. After that, everything is pretty self-explanatory. Um, we're going to take this and we're going to rotate it around and kind of get it grooved in so it becomes an arm. Okay. There's one arm. And then we're going to come to the other side. We're going to pull this off and then we're going to rotate this around. And here's another arm. Okay. There's that. Alrighty, and then we're gonna get this piece, and there are two sides. There's the red eyes, and there's the purple eyes. We're gonna open it up on the purple eyes, and we're gonna fold this out, and we're gonna make us a Zord head, okay? So there is the Zord head. We're then gonna come to the back with this cannon here. We're gonna plug it right on in there. I think it's the other side. My bad. Yeah, we're gonna plug that right in there. And we're gonna plug this right into the other side. And here is our Megazord, fully merged up. Here is Purples. It is freaking awesome, okay? Let's look, get a closer look at the detail. Look at that face. We've got a really nice head sculpt, all kinds of body design. Just overall, really, really cool. I love the aesthetic of the Zord. You guys see the colors? You guys already know the articulation. It has everything, man. The stinking pose. It pose really well. So there's all that posing. You get all the good stuff that you want. You can, you can do all that stuff. The swords are very posable for this line. And if you want to hide the guns, you can fold them up in the back like boosters. So it's really cool. Because, you know, if you've noticed, all the swords have wings except for this one. And the only reason for it is because it has jet packs that are these guns right here. So it's overall really cool. 
let's go to the next comparison and then we're going to combine everything. So first, we're going to start off with the Tyrannosaurus. We're going to pull that off. We are going to first actually do its first mode because uh, this has something it needs to do. So <laughs> we're going to put this back on as a tail for his Megazord mode. And we're going to adjust his body. Okay, so there's that. First, we're gonna start off with Parasaur, and we're going to uh, get his legs, and we're gonna sort of rotate them all the way around, bend, rotate all the way around. We're gonna rotate that, and then we're gonna rotate that, okay? Once I do that, I am then going to fold up the uh, arms, and then I'm gonna fold that up like that, the head. And everything fits well and flush together, and we just plug it on, bam, and I broke that off for by accident. Plug that bad boy on and bam. Here is the cannon arm right here. Liza Parasol. Fully merged up. Ready. So there's a laser. <laughs> it's pretty heavy on him, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm bending his legs a little bit. I'm going to take this off, and we're going to actually form up his real Megazord. So, the one thing that you guys might hate is that the T-Rex the head is just going to sit there. It has no use. Okay? It's just going to be out the way. We're going to fold up the head. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys. Okay, so this was on purple mode. I forgot to turn it around and show you guys uh, the combo mode. I forgot. This is the combo mode with the parasol outfits. You get the red eyes. Okay. So then we take this off and we're going to redo the whole thing again. All right. So look, I'm going to take off the tail. Get this. There is a ball joint. We're going to put it in there to socket. Bam. Plug it back on. Got a longer tail. And it actually creates a lot of stability for the Megazord, the tails. Okay. So next we're going to come to the Dimetro. And we're going to fold it up. We're then going to fold up his uh, dino tail. Then we're going to fold up his dino legs. We're going to extend the head. And then we're going to fold it down. Um, this right here, fold it all the way down. Okay. Then we're going to bring that down. And here is the arm. So it folds up very, very flush. You get a nice arm. And we can plug it in right here. Okay. So now he's really starting to look sinister. This is starting to look like a Megazord. <laughs> okay. Why did I just hear an explosion? Maybe it, it might have not been an explosion. I'm not sure. I don't know what that was. All right. So we're going to get this head. Fold it up. Fold this over. Lift that up. Bam. Oh. And rotate the horn. Here is the Zord head after all that so beautiful head and we're gonna plug it on right on top bam and here is <laughs> and here's our megazord guys you know i always knock something off but uh here's our megazord i think that it looks really really cool if you want to make it look a little better i can turn these feet around and make out dino feet it will look really cool with those. But I think the Zord feet look good. So here's our Zord, guys. It's all merged up. Looking awesome. We got the same articulation as before. <laughs> He's trying to do the splits because it's very, very heavy. But other than that, it is pretty awesome. It is pretty awesome, okay? We're going to get a little close-up at it. And... Then I'm going to be closing this bad boy off so we can take a look at Kingzilla next video. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tune in for part two so we can see this guy and his girlfriend. This is Powerbricks signing off.